Uh, this is just a, a quick video really uh, to show um, the heart um, in three dimensions. Um, before looking at this video you should really be familiar with uh, the heart and its structure. Um, this video is just to give you a, a perhaps a better idea of uh, what the heart looks like and uh, how the blood vessels are arranged um, that connect to the heart. So um, the software that I'm using here is uh, by a company called Visible Body and um, you can uh, buy their apps uh, for the Apple products, I'm not sure about Android, um, or you can have uh, desktop versions of this uh, software. Uh, so if you want um, to have these uh, anatomy apps, I'll uh, I'll put a link under the video to the um, uh, the Visible Body website if you want to uh, have your own copy of the software. Okay, um, so the image we're looking at now is uh, the heart as it's positioned in between the lungs. Okay, so these uh, are the two lungs. Um, the other thing uh, I should point out, of course, is uh, the image is drawn as though uh, it's in the, the chest of someone. So over on this side, uh, even though it's the left-hand side as you're looking at it, it is actually the right-hand side uh, when it's in the body. So we're sort of looking at things in uh, reverse, really. So this is the left-hand side. Uh, the left lung, this is the uh, right hand side, uh, the right lung, okay, as you uh, look at it, but in the chest this would be the right side and this would be uh, the left side. So if uh, we uh, manoeuvre this uh, image around a little bit, if we uh, have a look at this view, this is what the heart looks like uh, from above okay so this is the underside of the heart uh, this structure here okay that I've just highlighted blue uh, that's going to be the right atrium okay and uh, the blood vessel that's attached to it that one there um, if I try and highlight it there it is that would be the uh, vena cava uh, but because it's below the heart, it's referred to as the um, inferior uh, vena cava. Um, so that's uh, the atrium there and uh, the vena cava. This structure here, uh, that's the uh, aorta that's coming down the body. Okay. Um, these uh, structures here, they, they would actually be the ventricles of the heart. Okay, so that's what it looks like underneath. Uh, the Actually, these blood vessels here, these would be the coronary blood vessels that supply blood to the heart muscle. So that's uh, the image from uh, below. Uh, if we have a look from behind really, you can't see much of the heart there uh, but again that structure here is the uh, aorta all right, that we looked at earlier the one just above it there, that's the aortic arch okay um, and sort of obscured by the aorta is this structure here uh, that I've highlighted in blue, that's going to be the left atrium. Okay, uh, so that's really what it looks like uh, behind. Uh, one more structure is that one there, that's the uh, vena cava now, this is the one that comes down from the head um, to the right uh, atrium. Okay, so um, from above then, again, you can't really see much at the moment because there's uh, the lungs are in the way at the moment, but I will remove them. 
Uh, that's the image from above there, and there you have the uh, heart uh, surface there. Okay, well, that area would actually contain uh, the ventricles. Okay, so um, that's the heart from the front, the back, top and bottom. Okay, so if I uh, remove the lungs now, what you'll see is uh, the blood vessels um, that uh, are going from the heart to the actual lung. So I'm only showing the blood vessels here on uh, the right lung. So all of these things, if I highlight them, all of these Okay, they're the blood capillaries that are going into the uh, the lungs. Okay, so if I remove those out of the way, uh, what we're left with really now is uh, just the heart uh, with its uh, associated blood vessels. Okay, so we're looking at the, the front view of the heart. Um, this region here, okay, is the apex of the heart. Again, these blood vessels, uh, if I highlight them, okay, there we are. Uh, that would be one of the coronary arteries. Uh, the blue ones would be the coronary veins. All right. So that's the, the surface of the heart. This uh, light brown stuff is, is fat. Okay. So if we have... Um, a look from above again, uh, sorry, from below, we can actually just see uh, a little bit more now of the heart structure. Okay, and if you look through the inferior vena cava here, uh, you can actually uh, see right through uh, the right atrium. If I zoom in on that for you. Okay, so this uh, structure here, that's the inferior vena cava and um, the black region there is actually right through the other side of the um, the atrium okay so that's from um, below again from behind then okay you can see uh, a little bit more of the heart this time again we've still got the aorta here uh, but now we can actually see um, the um, right uh, atrium there that I've highlighted in blue and there we can see the uh, left atrium and we'll investigate those uh, in a bit when I actually remove more of the blood vessels we'll be able to see the atriums a bit clearer so that's from behind uh, again from above Okay, can't see too much at the moment because there's still blood vessels in the way. So, um, if we have a look again from the front, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing now some of these blood vessels. So, I'm going to remove most of the, uh, the vena cava and the branches that come off the vena cava. Uh, this, of course, is the superior. So, we'll remove that. We'll get rid of the aortic arch and its uh, branches. Okay, Oop, hide those. Um, let's get rid of these blood vessels as well. And those, I think. Okay, there's just some fine blood vessels there. Okay, so what I've done is we've got uh, a better view of the heart now uh, where most of the blood vessels have been removed and at the top there we've just got the uh, the stumps if you like of the four major blood vessels that are attached to the heart in fact I think I need to remove that one as well that's going to get in the way and what I'll do let's get rid of that aorta there as well there we are that's better okay so Basically, we've just got uh, the stumps left of the uh, four major blood vessels. So this one here again is the superior vena cava. Um, that one now is the aorta. 
that one there is the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary veins are just those structures there okay that I've highlighted in blue um, if I swivel this around we can see those there are also the pulmonary veins uh, basically uh, those uh, pulmonary veins bring blood back to the heart from both lungs so that's why we have two each side of uh, the atrium one's come in and bring in blood from the left lung and the other from uh, the right lung so there's the uh, four uh, blood vessels that are attached uh, to the heart right um, so we've looked at the the blood vessels then if we have a look at the top chambers which are the atriums uh, again just just looking at the outer surface uh, we'll come to the inside of the heart shortly um, that region there now is going to be the right atrium so you can see it sits right on top of the heart okay but unusually for this atrium um, if I rotate round to the back you can see that the atrium kind of sort of goes behind the heart as well uh, in fact most of it seems to be behind the heart with just a little bit sort of showing uh, on the front region okay so uh, I suppose from the front view now it sort of looks like the atrium is is sort of on the side and towards the back of the heart really okay but it's still it's still actually above uh, the ventricles which are these uh, down here so that's the right atrium um, the one in blue now is the left atrium okay and that seems to be sort of more behind the heart but again it's still on the top of the heart uh, above the ventricles from behind then uh, that's what it looks like okay so again it uh, it's very close um, almost touching the uh, left atrium which is there and again you can see that most of it seems to be behind uh, the heart there okay so there's the uh, atriums uh, the outer surface of them um, the ventricles then if I just uh, highlight these regions all of that blue region now would uh, accommodate really the the ventricles okay so most of the the lower part of the heart are the two uh, bigger chambers so that's uh, most of the external features of the heart I just want to look now at the coronary circulatory system um, so these are the blood vessels that supply heart uh, sorry supply blood to the muscle of the heart and if I zoom in here this blood vessel that I've highlighted in blue is the uh, main coronary artery okay and it says there that it's in the, the right coronary artery which would make sense because it's on the right side of the heart okay which is there now that coronary artery is going to supply oxygenated blood uh, to the heart so in order for it to do that it's actually connected you can't see it um, well at the moment but it's actually connected uh, to the aorta so this structure here is the aorta if I highlight it in blue all right and uh, the coronary artery here is actually attached to that uh, aorta so oxygenated blood when it comes out of the heart through the aorta will actually go through the uh, right coronary artery as well so that's the coronary artery now the coronary vein um, the major one if we rotate the heart round to the back again okay so this top chamber here is the left atrium 
and running directly underneath it is the um, coronary uh, vein okay now that coronary vein is going to remove deoxygenated blood from the heart muscle and it then takes the blood back then to the um, right atrium which I've highlighted in blue so at this point here that's where the main coronary vein attaches to the right atrium okay so all deoxygenated blood goes back to the right side uh, of the heart okay that's the um, external uh, features of the heart okay we go back to the front again uh, what we're going to do now in the next uh, part of this video is to look at the internal structures of the heart and uh, that includes the valves the valves between the atriums and the ventricles and the ones in the aorta here and the pulmonary artery uh, we'll see the septum um, we'll see the tendons attached to the heart valves uh, and we can zoom in and have a good look at uh, how they're all uh, positioned uh, within the heart. So if we uh, if we look inside the uh, the two atriums first, uh, but what I'll do if we just fade uh, the atriums or the atrial walls, and uh, if we rotate this around and look from above, you can see. Uh, some interesting structures. Uh, these uh, structures here, uh, they're going to be the valves in between the atriums and the ventricles. Same over here. All right, so we'll look at those uh, in a uh, bit later. Uh, this structure here with these uh, swooping structures, they're going to be part of the uh, conduction system of the heart. Okay, so that one we look from the side there back and side that uh, that structure there is actually the sinoatrial node and these fibers running off it uh, there's three of them there they actually all go to the atrioventricular node which we'll look at uh, later okay so that's uh, that's going to be the uh, the right side of the heart where the pacemaker is or the sinoatrial node. So that's the view from the side, uh, and then back to the front view. So if we get rid of those, if uh, if we hide them, we can now see um, they've been completely removed, and uh, you can clearly see now this here. Um, is uh, the bicuspid valve uh, and that's one of the flaps that I've highlighted there that's the other one there so the bicuspid valve has two flaps to it uh, by meaning two okay so that's the bicuspid valve and that's going to be on the left side of the heart if we go to the tricuspid valve here uh, that's one flap that's the other one and there's the third one there okay so this structure that's a bit clearer will actually have three flaps so it's called the tricuspid valve and the R here in tri means uh, it's on the right side of the heart okay so that's the uh, that's the inside of the atriums looking from above at the moment uh, again you can now see uh, a bit clearer the sinoatrial node all right and these structures here um, which uh, I forget the name of uh, they called the middle internodal bundle okay but they all um, go round to the uh, uh, if I can highlight that last one, hang on. 
There you go. So those three things highlighted in blue uh, run to the um, uh, atrioventricular node, uh, which is down more towards the um, the top of the septum, just at the top of the ventricles. Okay, so if we just uh, manoeuvre around again, so you can see a good view of uh, inside the atriums. Okay, again, nothing, nothing too much in them because they are just uh, chambers uh, for blood to to enter. Okay, but that's uh, that's what it looks like there. Okay, there's another view for you there. Okay, I'm going to put those atriums back on um, and then we can uh, have a look at the uh, inside of the ventricles. Right, so if I just uh, fade uh, this for a minute. So what I've done is I've just faded off um, most of the, uh, the right side uh, of the heart muscle. So we can uh, see uh, if I also... get rid of the um, coronary vessels uh, if I get rid of those that will be a bit better for us so what we can uh, see now is uh, I faded the outer wall uh, of the heart and we're looking into the um, lower chambers which are the ventricles uh, of the heart and just remove those vessels okay so um, if we just rotate it around we can actually see here this is the tricuspid valve that's uh, in the pulmonary artery all right remember the pulmonary artery is attached or is on the uh, right side of the heart uh, so this region here there is actually going to be uh, the right ventricle Okay, um, the valve here, okay, that's going to be the tricuspid valve, all right, which is again tri R for right side. Um, separating the two chambers, then here's the septum, and uh, these creamy coloured structures are uh, again part of the electrical system of the heart which we'll look at in a second and right over here this is the uh, left ventricle uh, with the bicuspid valve there now if I rotate the heart we may yeah we can just see now this region here that's the tricuspid valve sorry that's the semilunar valve of the aorta there so we're looking slightly uh, uh, sort of underneath the heart to see that valve okay so there's the aorta in blue and if I rotate the heart around just here would be the uh, semilunar valve within that aorta okay right so let's get rid of uh, that wall completely so we can have a tidy look in here okay if we zoom in uh, we're looking at the uh, right side of the heart at the moment and uh, we're looking sort of through uh, the tricuspid valve here so that that goes up into the atrium okay these are the three flaps or cusps of the tricuspid valve as we said earlier okay and attached to those valves are these structures here um, that are highlighted in blue um, they're the heart strings or the tendons um, that attach the heart valves to the actual wall of the ventricle so if I revolve round you can see the things that I've just highlighted in blue now, let's get rid of the heart strings. These structures here are the papillary uh, muscles, and it's what the 
tendons of the heart valve attached to. Okay, so that's inside the left, sorry, the right uh, ventricle. This structure here is called the moderator band. Okay, um, it's it's there to sort of convey electrical impulses from the septum to the uh, to the wall here of the uh, ventricles. Okay, uh, similar thing then over on the right side, but what I want to highlight is the thickness of the uh, wall of the ventricle on the left side here. It's very, very thick compared to the left side. Okay, it's about double the thickness on this uh, animation. Okay, so again, uh, this here, uh, these are the... Um, cusps or flaps of the bicuspid valve now and uh, we can just about see here through the through the flaps that uh, we're going into the uh, atrium there again it's got heart um, strings or tendons if I can highlight them for you there they are all right, so there's the harp strings, and again they're attached to the papillary muscles there. Okay, so there's the structures within the ventricle. Uh, this region here is the septum, and running down the septum are uh, important nerves really that convey electrical impulses from the atrioventricular node all right so I want to look at these um, electrical uh, circuits within the heart now and I want to show you where the um, atrioventricular node is so to show you where the um, atrioventricular node is I'm going to have to remove this region of the heart here because you can see these nerve fibers they actually go through this structure and uh, they actually go quite a way back so the atrioventricular node is is deep up here all right so I'm going to have to remove this region so the heart's going to look a little bit odd uh, in fact I'll fade it first so uh, we, we'll just be able to see the atrioventricular node if I uh, fade that region okay it's that structure there that's the uh, atrioventricular node so you can see just about that this structure here is the bundle of hiss all right which comes from the atrioventricular node <coughs> through into the septum and then these two structures here um, are known as the bundle branches but in, in the exam you can call all of this the bundle of hiss and just down in this region here, uh, the, the bundle of Hiss then turns into the Purkinje fibres. So you get some of the Purkinje fibres running through the septum of the heart. So that's uh, sort of where the uh, atrioventricular node is. So I'm going to uh, remove some areas of the heart now so we can see this uh, a little bit better. All right, but... Um, most of the heart will have to be removed to, to actually get to see that. Okay, so um, pretty much all of the uh, lower muscle part of the heart has been removed. Um, just to get you orientated, uh, that region there, again, is the bundle branch, or you could call it the bundle of Hiss. That's, that's where the septum would be of the heart so all of these structures here that I'm highlighting in blue um, they would actually be in the septum just just here from there up that would be the septum so here that is the bicuspid valve that's the tricuspid so um, the actual atrioventricular node then if I rotate the image around there it is up here so that now is the full view of the atrioventricular node you can see that it's attached to the uh, bundle of Hiss 
there and then to the left and right bundle branches and then down here to the Bakinji fibres. So what's uh, interesting here, you can see that it's uh, in the lower part, it's outside of the uh, atrium. So that region there is the right atrium and this um, AV node then or atrial ventricular node is actually outside of it and it's uh, sort of directly behind if you like the septum all right but what I was mentioning earlier when we were looking at the right atrium we were looking at those lines or fibers coming out of the atrio sorry out of the sinoatrial node well they all as I said earlier converge onto this AV node so the things I've highlighted in blue there those three they are the fibers that run from the sinoatrial node right round the um, atrium and converge onto the uh, AV node all right so what I'm going to do now is if I uh, fade that away all right just to make it a bit transparent at the moment okay okay I think that's a bit better um, so what we can see now is up here that region there is the sinoatrial node these are the electrical fibers that run out of it and go to the um, AV node there all right so you can see that the sinoatrial node or the pacemaker of the heart is at the top of the right atrium and the um, AV node is right down the bottom outside of the atrium just at the top of the um, septum okay so um, if I put the image back in that position that's sort of how the heart is positioned in the chest so you can sort of see the outline of the heart there with the blood vessels so these would be the ventricles and then right up here the AV node right if I get rid of that top atrium we can fully see now get rid of that blood vessel so everything that I've going to highlight in blue now apart from that all that all of that in blue is the electrical conduction system within the right atrium sinoatrial node here AV node there and then this bit here bundle of Hiss down the septum uh, through the left and right bundle branches which again you can call the bundle of Hiss and then to these structures here and on which are the Purkinje fibres. So if I just highlight the Purkinje fibres for you there's one and there's the other. So all of those in blue will be the Purkinje fibres if I rotate that around you can see them there All right. okay um, I think I've gone through everything really that uh, I wanted to just to show you some 3d images of the heart um, so hopefully that was helpful for you and um, I'll put the uh, description of the uh, the website for the visible body software which I'm using here.